Hi, welcome back. I'm going to show you in this video how to work with commands within the buttons and how to customize your buttons to do certain things. In previous videos you've learned actually how to um, add a button or a, or a fader for example to the canvas but in this one I'm going to open up uh, let's say I will open up one that I've built here that's compatible with what you currently see on the NDI window what I've got running on vMix tutorial. So I have a variety of different buttons and faders and things here. So we'll use this as uh, an example to show you what you would put within a button. So uh, let's start with something simple here. So if we go to the edit menu we can see here when you click on a button it will give you the information of that particular button. So let's for instance take a cut button. Simple command was cut. The input 0 which means it will cut directly from the uh, from the preview input to the output uh, to the output uh, window, so that will cut direct, not cut direct from an input, but cut from the preview and toggle the two. Um, if we look at one of these, for instance, this button here for the program, you can see that was just a, a standard clear button and basically a cut direct. So when you cut direct, it would put it on the output of your vMix. And uh, the same applies to all these other buttons on the program bus. Let's have a look at something like a title preview. Let's look at the overlay one, what's in that button here, title preview. So in that one, you would preview overlay one and choose your input, which was called title zero, classic blue, and that was just one of the presets in vMix, and uh, I changed the tally color to red. So let's see what happens now when we title preview. It should preview the title on your preview input. If I go title, so we can just get rid of it now if we want, that's a good way of previewing, make sure you've got the right titles up. And the second one would be putting it on the air. You can actually go from one to the other. So if it wasn't preview and you want it to go to on the air, just click the other button and it'll go on air. I'm going to show you now these other buttons here, the previous and next. So I've got a previous title preset and a next title preset in these buttons. So what happens here is when I go next, you will notice that the information on that title will change. So that's person number two, person number three, etc. So those were already within the uh, the title preset. So you can toggle through them quite easily like that if you just make yourself a button to do that. So let's say now I was on the PowerPoint. I'll put the PowerPoint on the output and I'll get rid of the title. So PowerPoint, I've got that on a on a separate little block here, a little control. I can go next as well. Now what would that command be? That would be next item on this input and it would go to the next item and this one would be previous item. So you can see if you go next item it'll fade over to the next item in the PowerPoint. I've put a restart so I can actually go right back to the bidding, beginning by clicking the restart. Now these are icon buttons, so you can put those icons that are provided with the panel builder um, within it. You can use those icons or put your own custom icons such as I've done up here with the panel builder. And I've just used it as a little background here, not even a label basically here. Uh, I'll show you now how you can actually uh, work with or show you now how to work with um, sliders or faders. So if you choose a fader here, you get different information. You notice there's other things down here that are not relevant. Relevant. So set volume of, I've got music number one, this one here is music number two. Okay, and if we look at the icons below it, it'd be play pause, music number one, and audio, which turns the audio on, music number one. This one here would be set master volume, and this would be turning master audio on and off. So let's see what happens now when we click on those. 
So if I was going to play, let's say music number two, there it is. You can adjust the volume and you can see that the music is playing. I can leave, leave the music play, so I'll leave it play, but I'll just turn off that uh, channel. Basically turning the audio off the channel, you can see it went blue because it's muted. So uh, the the um, icons here or the buttons will actually reflect the status of that channel as well. So when it's muted, it just goes clear. When the channel is on, you see it went green. So that's a feature for dealing with audio. So let's put it back on. We can adjust levels. You can adjust master levels. And you can basically add another this is a different one here. So you could use this. I just had music tracks, music inputs set up. So that uh, just shows you that. But you could uh, be taking audio from other sources like uh, um, cameras and such. Okay, there was another quick little demo on, on things. Um, you can uh, experiment uh, with, uh, with this and uh, see how uh, the different commands you can put. You should look at the vMix shortcut user guide or the user guide vmix user guide under shortcuts and uh, learn how to use the shortcuts because there's different information you can put in here as well okay good to uh, good to go we'll uh, get another demo going and uh, hopefully we get uh, more folks using this app thanks for listening